Hello everyone, welcome to episode 1 of Breath of Death 7, the beginning. This game's a little different from, uh, you know, other games I've done, or I'm working on right now, such as Dragon Age, or Fallout, Skyrim. This is, uh, it's still an RPG, but it's a turn-based RPG. Like, um, put it simply... Sort of, it's sort of like Chrono Trigger and sort of like Final Fantasy to an extent. So we're just gonna start a new game. Um, easy because I suck. All right, welcome to Breath of Death Seven, the beginning. I've all read up to this. I've played this for like half an hour just to get the feel of it. So yeah, if you want to read this stuff, you can pause since I've done it, like, twice. So, I'm not going to look at the controls, since I already know them. Oh, alright. Damn, <laughs> strange device is this? Alright, so, your character is Dem, a skeleton warrior. He said no, he's going to tell you the, what stuff means anyway. Right, and this is where you first save. So, I've played, like, my character's level 8 before I started recording, so. It's still pretty low. <laughs> yeah, this is where our first battle was. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna. Oh, I have no spells. I forgot. I'm just gonna take control. They don't do too much damage. I'm not that And Dem's all fine. I'm gonna learn Fireball, which is, you know, it's pretty nice. It does a lot of damage. I think like 50. It's not enough to one-hit this troll king that we're gonna go up against. He's up in the room to the north. Yeah, just looting some stuff. And here he is. So yeah, build your combo count with multi-hit techniques. And then... Finish him off with... So what he needs, like... Do multi strike and then multi strike again. And now you want to use death blow, just a lot of damage. Actually, I don't know if that's what it meant, I just kind of did it. Alright, so I'm gonna do level up the magic just for this one, so I'm not gonna be. Anywhere near a magic character for them. Yeah, this is this is the world map, so to speak. Then Sea Town, you just walk on onto it, and there you go. All right, <laughs> welcome, stranger. What you are? That's that's a Resident Evil 4 reference. In case you didn't know, in case you never played the game. Shame be yours, because it's my favorite game of all time. So I love this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll come back to it later. Because we're going to pick up a follower. Really soon. As soon as I talk to this lady, because she tells you something, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Cave to the Northwest. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to be heading to the northwest for that cave treasure. As soon as I pick up Sarah. Just pause if you want to read it. I already read it like twice. <laughs> Forcefully joins your party. That's so nice. Oh, this is also funny. 
He wants a little cake, but he gets chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah! Alright, now to go to the Resident Evil 4 merchant. Yeah, I can't sell anything, so. I'm gonna buy this Mystic Staff for Sarah and Iron Sword for them. How much money do I have? 30. No! 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 Okay, equip Sarah with... Wait, no, them with... Awesome Iron Sword, so good! No! No! Come on! Okay. Equip Sarah with her Mystic Staff. Look how much better it is. It increases strength. Does everything double and even increases the MP by 10. Sweet. I'm gonna show you guys are pretty ring on. Whatever. Um I think some guy told me there's a city to the east somewhere around here. This guy. Yeah, to the east. We have to pass through the graveyard. And this guy... The better you perform in combat, the more MP you will gain when you're victorious. What a wise mage he was, because that is absolutely true. So we're just gonna run on, go to that treasure. Somewhere. Oh, can't go anywhere. Nope. Oh well. Oh, yes, some rats and stuff. Not too bad. Of course, Sarah's attacks are awful since so she's level 2. Alright, we've got a 4 combo going on. So let's just use multi strike. And Eight damage. A little bee fly. Pathetic. Oh, she's level three. We're level up her strength, so she should do a little more damage, hopefully. Since the only spells that, as far as I can tell, that she knows, like when she was level seven, was just healing spells. So. I'm just gonna do some grinding, so to speak, on her since she's level three. And I'm gonna go into a a cave that, or not a cave, like a graveyard that's pretty as high level enemies. They're not bad, but oh god, I remember I've seen these people before. Long pillow. Hmm. This is gonna be tough. Strike this one. No one's gonna do that, that much. Well, probably should have multi stroke the stroke. Multi stricken, I guess. The last one. It's all over now. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep fighting. These one pillows. Now we're gonna stun this guy. And while he's stunned, I'm going to. I'm just gonna stun this guy. So I can just fireball the heck out of him. Yeah! So it's just. Do it a few more times. I know this is not the most exciting thing in the world. But it's necessary if we're gonna go into a semi high level dungeon. It's actually not that bad. Ooh. Some killer plants. Fly traps. Once again, not that bad. 
gonna do this in those levels up one more time. I wish you can one hit these fungi things. Which is she couldn't do that before I started this game and recorded this. So that's good news. It's always good news. It's one person, but it heals spells and also cure people. I don't know if it heals spell. Sorry, sorry. Or I could do cure all ailments to everyone for only five mana. I'm gonna do this one. Purity. I can stun people anyway if I'm really in a bind. Yeah, we're gonna go into the graveyard. Hmm. I'm just gonna sprint through it. Whee! Oh, we gotta read a gravestone first. <laughs> Promotional tombstone provided by the Graveyard Foundation. All rights reserved. Sarah still has higher. It doesn't make sense. She's like a little ghosty mage thing. A little ghosty ghost. Whatever, I'm not complaining about her high agility, I'm just saying. And a multi strike. This thing. Crows obviously have higher agilities. I think they go like three times before I do. Before them, I should say. But... We almost out of the graveyard. No, I'm going back the way I came. Am I? I don't remember this part. Sarah's level 7 now, we're gonna give her strength, I guess. She doesn't really know that many spells to begin with. What did he say? For fun time, <laughs> call 5552. <laughs> ah, this game's pretty funny. Not gonna lie. Ooh, zombie. Two shot it with my team. Oh, it's gone now. What do these say? You get the feeling you're in grave danger. <laughs> All right. Well, with that funny tombstone in this battle, I'm gonna end this episode for now. Hope you enjoy watching Earth of Death Seven. It's pretty cool. It was only one dollar with that, and um, Kadoo saves the world, so it was 
I kind of like these kind of RPG games, so uh, let's do a quick video to pass up. It's $1.02. And I just blindly leveled up Dem. I didn't even read what it was. Crap. Oh well. So with this, I'm going to save.